Hi everybody, it's your old pal Chuck, and I am excited to bring you today another review. Today we are looking at, from the Transformers Combiner Wars line, this is Legend Class Skywarp. Oh, wait a minute. Um, forget, don't forget, Skywarp, you know, he has a teleport teleportation abilities, so... Let's have him uh, teleport in. And there we are. As you can see, Skywarp is just a straight repaint of Starscream and Thundercracker, previously released in the line. Um, I think this is absolutely fantastic. For I first time in years well i don't want to say years but the first time that i can remember in a while uh we've ended up with the three seekers in a uh traditional looking g1 style form there was the war for cybertron uh figures starscream came out under the war for cybertron banner or was it fall i think fall of cybertron and then you had uh, Thundercracker and Skywarp show up in the Generations line. It's actually kind of interesting if you think about it, because I think it was like a year and a half it took. And it's really taken a year and a half to get um, the fig uh, these figures out in the Legends scale. Um, so I think that's a, you know, a pretty good timing. Um, like Thundercracker, who was released in the... Wave 1 of Combiner Wars, Skywarp does not come with a repaint of the Waspinator Minicon, so there is no handheld weapon, even though, as you'll see, the hole is still there to mount it in uh, vehicle mode. Um, kind of good, kind of bad. I mean, personally, I do have an issue that the Combiner Wars Legends figures are being charged, sold for the most part, uh, for the same price as um, the uh, Target Master Legends figures, but they're not coming with the Target Master. Um, also, as I mentioned it with my review of Thundercracker, there are some, oops, excuse me, uh, slight mold changes. Namely, here you can see with the tail thrusters, um, not the thrusters, but the fins. Those have been uh, remolded to a softer plastic, where on Starscream, they were a stiffer plastic. Uh, and then just moving around, there is some looseness in the joints that was not there with Starscream. But then again, um, it's, it, with Thundercracker, it's, uh there was some looseness with some people. Some people claim Starscream had looseness. I don't know. You know, um, nothing that will prevent Skywarp from holding a pose or standing up, but the looseness is an issue, or not an issue, but something that needs to be addressed. Seeing as how the transformation is exactly the same as Starscream and Acid Storm, let's go ahead and just skip to vehicle mode. And here's Skywarp in its vehicle mode. And as you can see, it's very similar, exactly similar to Thundercracker, Starscream, and Acid Storm. Don't want to forget Acid Storm, um, as it was the first repaint of the Starscream mold. There, as you can see, is the hole where you could peg a Waspinator or Venom into to... Um, you know, really armor the jet up. This is their modern design that they've had in more recent IDW comics. And I'm just really happy that, you know, we're, we have the three Seekers all available at retail in the same size class, same style, so they line up perfectly. And what's great is, you know, as, some of, as we all know by now, going forward, we're going to have them in the leader class because the... Uh, retool remold that was turned into Thundercracker has already been repainted into Starscream and will be repainted into Skywarp. So, you know, I just think it's a wonderful time that, you know, I mean, how many years did we go where we would get one or two Seekers and that was it 
or we would get the three seekers two of them looked the same one of them was drastically different um but i do like this vehicle mode the transformation as you remember is very easy um this is just a very uh, simple figure makes a great desk toy and really not much more i can say about the uh vehicle mode since I've mentioned them so much, how about we do a little uh, comparison between Starscream Thundercracker and Acid Storm, just to see how the Seekers all look together. Yeah, unfortunately, folks, uh, some of you have picked up on it. Uh, my home is undergoing some major renovations, and... The large, large part of my collection has been packed up and put into um, storage in my basement, unavailable for me to get a hold of, uh, and thus I couldn't uh, get my uh, chance to pull out Thundercracker and Starscream and Acid Storm to do comparisons with. I'm sure we all know what they look like and match up the colors uh you know i mean this the backdrop here if you haven't noticed is actually uh the bottom of a a couple pieces of ceramic tile that uh you know my we're using on the uh, project um i i do apologize if you know there's people have noticed a difference in change hopefully things will be back to normal uh much sooner than later but I doubt that. Uh, Skywarp is a fantastic figure. I picked mine up off of Amazon.com. Unfortunately, along with it and its wavemate Rodimus, there's a slight problem that when these figures pop in, the third-party sellers, I believe, go buy them out and then turn around and relist them for $20 a pop. And since it's, they offer prime shipping... You know, it's one of these things where it's in the warehouse and just being moved to another pile, I think. Uh, Camel Tracker is your friend. It is a plug-in for Facebook and, um, excuse me, Firefox and Chrome. You can set a price watch, and as soon as it comes in, that's how you can get it. That's actually how I was able to get Skywarp. Uh, Rodimus, I actually lucked out and happened to see before I got the uh, Camel Tracker notification. Also, a lot of online retailers are not splitting up Skywarp and Rodimus. So uh, you'll end up having to buy the full Way 4 case, which is Skywarp, Rodimus, and then I think Warp Path and Groove. So you're going to get stuck with uh, two carryovers from Way 3. In the few instances where I've seen Skywarp and Rodimus broken up, uh, they've been a priced a little too high for me to be able to recommend. Probably to cover the difference that they know they're going to be sitting on a bunch of grooves and war paths for some time. I can't really recommend this figure above the $10.99 retail price. I mean, personally, I'd feel better if it was like 8 or $9, but unfortunately, you know, things go up over time. Definitely... Uh, if you can get it off of Amazon or at retail, I've heard reports it's showing up in stores. Definitely pick it up. It's a great addition to your Seeger collection. I actually think this mold works a lot better um, for the classic Seekers than the original deluxe mold. This is your old pal Chuck for Skywarp. We will see you next time.